What's up, guys? John Delarose here, the leading Hispanic voice in science fiction, coming at you with something a little different. Um, I like to highlight, uh, you know, creative projects and endeavors that I enjoy. And I haven't been doing games lately, but I, I was a big gamer before I kind of ran out of time uh, because I had to write all the time. <laughs> and Star Realms is one of those games that I've, I've played this game hundreds and hundreds of times and very much enjoy. And uh, I love the creators, uh, uh, Darwin Cook and uh, Rob Doherty, good people. Uh, De Debbie, who uh, works in their office, is also a good person. And so I want to uh, I want to highlight uh, their new Kickstarter. So this will be a little different video than usual, but we'll see, see if you guys like it. Um, so this is the Star Realms Deluxe Nova Collection, which is their brand new Kickstarter. And it is a little bit pricey. Um, and they are kickstarting a foil version of the game that has a bunch of custom sc uh, score dials and a board. If you're not familiar with the game, it it originally comes in a box, which is just like a small little box. It's just got a couple couple hundred cards in it, and it's a two player game, um, and it's like fifteen bucks. So it's it's a really easy game to get into, and that's part of why it was so popular. There's also an app. So you can play the game on the app. Uh, just look up Star Realms in, in any of the app stores. And the game's simple. It's like space combat, and you got two different types of um, cards, which are ships and bases. The bases come into play and stay into play, and then their effect happens uh, all the time. And they do things like, you know, give damage. And so you, um, you know, try to damage your opponent and kill them after they get a certain number of points. So very easy to get into. I think my, my kids got into it even when they were like six and seven. You just have to be able to do basic math. You can even help your kids do the basic math of it, and they still have fun with it. Um, but they, it gets better as they learn how to do the math. Now, again, this is like a deluxe special edition of the game, and I'm definitely getting this 100%. Um, it's got this game board right here. Got all the foil cards. I'm big into foil cards. I just I love just blinging out games and making them pretty. And so I'm definitely doing this. Uh, I got this little challenge, these little dials. Now, the original game has, like, cards to track the um, life totals. or I guess it's called authority totals. Uh, but um, it's a little cumbersome on the cards. So having these dials really going to be really nice. Foam dividers and all that, very nice uh, for, for, all, for what goes on here. And uh, there it is. So uh, just good stuff. Now I'm gonna go through what it comes comes with because it doesn't just come with the base game. It, they mentioned that the uh, cards are for more than the base game. There is, let's see. So we've got uh, the base game, of course, and then there's promo pack one. There's a bunch of promos that amplify the game, and that promo pack um, really is is what most people play with in general. So, um, it's got a, it's got really powerful ships in it that are that are pretty useful. And fun to play with and, and they're just bombs when they go off it's, it's pretty great the gambit set now the gambits um add a second mechanic to the game so it's like you have some gambits uh that you kind of choose and they're, they're aside from the deck and they they you know kind of give you a special benefit that's how it goes <clears throat> uh crisis bases so crisis was one of their bases and battleships this is a, their um one of their first expansions uh, crisis events and the events is uh, they they go into the deck and they they're just random things that just like you know they they help help with the randomness of the game make it a lot of fun. Heroes is another new mechanic they added through the expansion. Pretty simple stuff. And fleets and fortresses is again just more bases and battleships that uh, help with the game. And, uh, and of course a second gambit set to add to that. Um, so you get a lot of material with this uh, this set um, and this is pretty much all you need to play the game. Uh, the next version of the game is called Colony Wars. I imagine they'll do another one of these deluxes for that, but it's basically its own base game that has uh, you know just slightly tweaked mechanics to it to um, to uh, you know make for different gameplay but but it all it all works the same. Um, this is the most fun. I, I enjoy the base game probably the most and uh, I just know the cards better because I've played them so many times. So I'm very excited to get this and have a blinged out version of the game here. Um, so this is what's going to come with the game. 
If you haven't gotten into this game, I again, highly recommend it. I'll put the link in the description so you guys can check this out. And uh, it's a lot of fun. Now, uh, I will say that I did write the novelization of the game. Uh, it's currently out of print. So uh, I, I'm not an employee of White Wizards. I, I was just a big fan of the game. And so it made sense uh, to work on that. But uh, lot, I, I do have a book of that that is loaded with references to this game and a lot of fun also. Um, uh, you can get it. I've got I've got like twenty copies left. So if you message me or something, I can I can figure out how to get you one if you're interested. But yep, uh, enjoy this game. This game is still fun after. Gosh, I've been playing it for how many years now? Uh, at least five. I think it's five. Whenever it came out, <laughs> somewhere in there. Um, and I look forward to playing this new version with these these pretty shinies. So good stuff. Uh, check it out. Back it if it seems fun to you. Again, I recommend this game. It's good for the whole family. Uh, it probably eight and up is going to get the most enjoyment, but I was playing it with my kids at a little bit of a younger age on that. And, uh, now that my oldest kid's like 11, uh, he's, he's really good at it. So it's a lot of fun. All right. I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for checking out the video. Hit that like and subscribe button. If you like my content, definitely trying to create to, uh, support indie projects, indie art of all stripes. That is what I like to do around here. And uh, thanks for supporting the channel. See you guys.